Me. Hey, Amul, tell me you're desperate without actually telling me you're desperate. Amul, sure, I got you. Here's a full page newspaper ad lying about plant based milks. This ad is like the ones you see from extreme religious groups or like outside of churches and shit like that. The ones where they're saying things like, being gay is a sin, repent or you're going to hell. They do this shit to scare you so you'll do what they want you to do. And that is exactly what Amul is trying to do with this full page newspaper ad lying about plant based milk. So let's jump in, let's break it down, and let's expose this nonsense. Their first claim is that dairy is not actually cruel to animals and dairy farming is good for the cattle, apparently. They claim this as dairy has been a part of the culture for 4,500 years. 4,500 years ago, human slavery was perfectly acceptable in most cultures. Does that mean we can take human slaves in 2021 because people did that thousands of years ago? No. Shut up. They then make the claim that cows are revered and worshipped in their culture. Cows are revered and worshipped in India? Really? Is that why India is one of the largest exporters of beef and leather in the world? And before you tell me- But David, no, this isn't cows, this is buffaloes. You really think that makes a difference? What is the difference between a cow and a buffalo that makes it okay to abuse and kill buffaloes, but not okay to abuse and kill cows? And anyway, a huge percentage of the milk in India is in fact buffalo milk, and both cows and buffaloes are killed for meat and leather and other reasons in India, and they're exported to be killed from India. The ones that aren't killed by the dairy industry, they're kicked out to the street to suffer and die in the streets, getting hit by cars and trains, starving to death. They don't really have a much better outcome either. But remember, cows are revered and worshipped in India right? The next claim is that the farmers take care of their cows just as they would a family member. Yeah, I guess it's true, right? Because all farmers keep their actual family members as slaves and impregnate them and use their bodies for profit because, you know, that's what you do to your mum and dad and sisters and brothers and kids as well as, as the animals. You treat them all the same, right? And then, of course, when your mum and dad get old, you kick them out onto the streets because they're not profitable anymore, just like you do to the cows. Because, yeah, they're just like family members, treated the same, right? And finally, there's the claim that only the excess milk beyond the calf's dietary requirements is taken, so no calf is actually deprived of their mother's milk. Cows don't just walk around with too much milk. Humans made it this way. The only reason a cow would produce excess milk is if they had been bred, selectively bred to do that, or if they'd been given hormones to produce more milk. There's no evolutionary benefit for a cow to produce too much milk. It would hurt them, it would make them sick. And yes, calves are deprived of their mother's milk in dairy farms. Here's a video that I took myself in a dairy farm in Mumbai where a calf is literally dying of sickness and starvation because they have been deprived of their mother's care and of course of their mother's milk because the farmers wanted to sell the milk to you. The next claim is that plant-based beverages aren't actually rich in nutrients. Milk is actually a complete and natural superfood. Milk is naturally superior with 100 to 150% more nutrients than any plant-based beverage. Notice how there's no source for this figure. Where does that come from? But let's pretend it's true for a second. Let's imagine they did provide a source and this is true. So what? We can get all the nutrients we need from plants. You can get every nutrient you would need that you would find in the milk. It's still not an argument to keep abusing animals for their milk. They say whey protein helps in bodybuilding. Whey protein is actually a waste product of the dairy industry that they managed to remarket and put out there as a protein supplement. You can get tons of protein from plant-based sources like nuts, seeds, legumes, like chickpeas, chana, like lentils, dal, rice, potatoes, literally every single vegetable, every single vegetable has protein in it. This next claim, I just couldn't believe they made this. They claim that healthy fats in milk make you glow without making you obese. <laughs> what the fuck kind of nonsense is this? Milk and the things that milk is used to make, like cream and cheese, these are absolutely making people obese. These are absolutely causing loads of health issues in people. But even if milk did make you glow and didn't make you obese, it's still not an argument to abuse animals for it. You can get all the nutrients you need without consuming milk products. Then they talk about good old calcium for bone strength. Milk is actually a pretty poor source of calcium compared to other plant-based sources of calcium that you can get, like the ones that I'm showing on the screen right now, you can get plenty of calcium from plants. You don't need to get it from the breast milk of other animals. Lactose, this, <laughs> lactose, apparently lactose is good for brain development and it's only found in milk. And this, this is actually the funniest thing on this whole newspaper ad. Why? Because yes, 
Lactose is an essential part of a developing brain for babies that are breastfeeding from their mother. Lactose is found in human breast milk. You don't need to drink breast milk from cows to develop your brain. You only need this when you are a baby. This is so moronic. It's incredible. You don't need to breastfeed from anyone as an adult human. Your brain is going to develop just fine. <laughs> without cow's breast milk. They claim milk is cheaper. Yes, store-bought plant milks can be expensive, that's true, which is why you just grab some rice, grab some oats, or grab whatever you want, nuts, and you can make plant milk at home. Just blend it with water, filter it through a cloth into a glass, boom, plant milk, easy, done, and it will be significantly cheaper than anything you would buy in the supermarket. So, Problem solved. Plant-based milk has stabilizers and thickeners and it's manufactured. Well, these are harmless things that you do find in most processed foods, but if you don't want to drink that, if you don't want to eat that, understandable, you don't have to. Just make the plant milk yourself, as I mentioned in the last point. But consider this, most of the dairy cows and the buffaloes that you're going to be drinking the milk from were given antibiotics to keep them healthy. Do you want to be risking the consumption of antibiotics and whatever else the farmers gave them, which could have included hormone treatments to make them produce more milk, and also the hormones that are just naturally present in their milk because it's cow or buffalo breast milk designed to make a baby cow or buffalo grow very, very, very large in a very short space of time. Do you really want to be drinking that? as opposed to drinking some plant-based milk that you made at home or something from the store that has, what, some thickeners in it? Really? Which do you think is the worst of these two scenarios? Now we're on to the apparent myth number three, which is the claiming that plant-based beverages aren't milk. Milk is the dairy industry. <laughs> Impersonating or masquerading as a dairy product is illegal and that plant-based beverages are trying to encroach on milk. This is so, so, so fucking desperate. Oh, it hurts. When you're losing the battle, you're losing the argument, so you resort to semantics to try and win it. Semantics, really? You're gonna, you're gonna argue about the use of the word milk here? Amul, did you ever have a problem with coconut milk? How about the herb milk thistle? Milk of magnesia? Or are you gonna to go after Game of Thrones next because they called one of the things in the series Milk of the Poppy. <laughs> And the final big myth that they're busting here, they're telling us that actually plant-based beverages are actually not part of a sustainable food system. They say that milk is actually an instrument of socioeconomic development and dairy is India's largest crop. It's people's livelihoods that are at stake here. The farmers are getting paid less for growing nuts and other things and they get paid more from Amul and the dairy industry. No defense of the dairy industry would be complete without talking about those poor, hardworking farmers that will lose their jobs. Amul going for the emotional plea, appealing to your emotions, appealing to your pity to try and get you to keep buying their products. Let me make some something 100% clear right now. A mull and no massive industries like the dairy industry, like the meat industry, like the egg industry, none of these give a flying fuck about farmers. They don't care about farmers, they don't care about you, they care about money. Amul literally owns the dairy industry in India and generates millions, millions of dollars of profit every year from it. Why do you think they put out this ad? It's not to help you, it's not to help the farmers, it's to help Amul keep making dollar, keep making cash. Don't fall for their bullshit, they don't care about the farmers. And finally, they try to play on the nationalism of Indians by saying all dairy is made in India, whereas most plant-based beverages come from imported products that come from outside of India, like almonds and oats and things like that. It doesn't matter. As a global community, a global marketplace, we exchange the things that we want from other countries and they take things from us. And this is nothing to be ashamed of. This is not something bad or evil like Amul is trying to play here. They're trying to play on your nationalism, your sense of patriotism, like India is the best, to make you buy their product. Don't fall for the bullshit. Send this video to anyone that you know who saw the ad. I think this would be really good for them to hear and see. I think everyone needs to see this. If you enjoy my videos, check out the Patreon team and become a member. You'll get access to exclusive previews as well as other exclusive content. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because then you'll keep getting access to all of the free content. Check out the website davidrams.com to pick up some cool merchandise just like this as well. It's all up there right now. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.